We hear so much about the Bechtel test, and I know it's kind of made its resurgence, sort of the idea. Yeah. Can you talk about um, Passion Flicks films in relation to that? Yeah, well, so it's interesting that test, um, it's, you know, two women have to be in a scene and not talking about a man or a relationship, right? That's one of the things, right. you know, she has to have a job that I think doesn't relate to the man. There are very specific things that when I first heard about this test, which I, I didn't actually know that much about it until recently, but uh, and when I, I was like, that's the most ridiculous criteria ever for a movie. But then when you think about these movies that are out, you're like, oh, right, they would never pass those tests. Um, and so the fortunate thing about ours is that they do. So our Afterburn and Aftershock, um, while the two women might discuss the relationship, they don't talk about it very often. It's more of a passing, a passing comment. But most of the time they're talking about their business and how they're going to build their business and what they're going to do about it and how they're going to structure their conversations with certain people in order to build this business. Um, so I think we definitely passed on that one. Uh, Hollywood Dirt. We passed on that one too because we certainly do have two women talking about uh, things that have nothing to do with the relationship. Um, and uh, and then on Hollywood, uh, so that was Hollywood Dirt, Afterburn, The Trouble with Mistletoe. Uh, that whole movie was about relationships. So I think everybody was talking about relationships throughout the entire movie. But he was basically the only man in the movie. There's only one. It was all a bunch of women. So I think we're good there. Um, and then Matchmaker's Playbook, well, I mean, it's about matchmaking, so we're going to talk about relationships, but it's mostly the men were actually talking about the relationship all the time in that script. So the women actually never talk about the relationship. They never get together and talk about the relationship, but the men do. The men get together and they're like, oh, are you falling in love with her? I think I am. Oh, so maybe it's the opposite. <laughs> interesting and yeah. so it's not like I mean locker room talk it's actually it, it almost sounds like you you've reversed in some ways the roles of that yeah there's there there's no locker room talk in the vulgar sense at all um, the conversations that the two men have are have you kissed her yet I think you I think that you're lingering a little longer <laughs> I, than necessary I think that you like her I think that you're in falling are you falling in love with her what no no I'm not falling in love with her that's silly I gotta go now you know so it's more of those kinds of conversations um, but the men talk about it and the women don't. Interesting. Yeah. Our women have their own lives. <laughs>